hi thank you so much for watching this video in this presentation i'll show you how easily you can use github software and how you can manage the git repository in your local system so as you can see i have just created one test repository in github and i will push all my files in this repository easiest way is to do via github desktop which is a software they created if you google it and if you can click on the first link it will open up like this this is github desktop software you have to download this one once it's there then you will see the downloaded software like this first thing that you have to do is you have to just connect this software login into your github account and then click on files and clone a repository so basically you have to first create or clone the github server repository into the local system let me type the one i have on the github this is the repository i have and then click on now choose the local path where we want to install this library uh, this repository it's in jamp which is a local server HD docs and this is the this would be the folder you can choose change this path the way you want but ideally if it is a local server then it's much better click on clone it will take a little bit of time to complete this uh, process I'll pause the video for a moment okay so the repository has been created in here crypto templates all I have to do is just put the files in this folder that I have selected now I can open this in sublime text I can open in Explorer or I can also be on GitHub. Let me open this one in Explorer. So I have to put all the file on here. It's a jam HD docs and this is the folder I selected. So I have to put all my files over here. I have all these files and folders. I just can copy this one and put on the project folder. Once it's there, you can see all the files will be updated on here very easy once once the files in the github all you have to do is commit so commit here to the master uh, you have to write some of the text like uh, first upload and then commit it will take a bit of time to process all these files i'll pause the video for a moment as well all these new files are committed now and as you can see i have one section is called push one commit to the origin remote so all i have to do is just push my changes into the remote so now they are sending all the data from my local server to remote server okay so all the files has been pushed now if you can go into the remote repository and refresh all the files will be uploaded over here so all the files will be here everything is awesome now anytime that we want to change the first we have to do is fetch origin so every time we want to do any kind of changes in here we have to sync or make sure that the data on remote is the same as the data in the lo local so we have to fetch origin every time when we start the work and once everything is done or for example if you do any kind of changes in the files it will show up here for it for example i'll do quick changes in the file let's say this is a uh, and uh, in this index file i just put one one and here and save when i put that one then it just put the updated change i can see all the changes here One moment oops sorry i was uh, writing the, the wrong file so the correct file will be here so let's say i'm changing a bit of text in readme something you know anything like just press enter and save and then it will be show up here so i just did one change so everything will be ready ready i mean all the versions can be uh, we can do track everything and it's very very easy and very efficient method of writing the larger project 
so thank you so much and if you have any questions please uh, let us know and we happy to help you out thank you so much bye bye